We are going to look into a fibroblast uh, growth factor receptor FGFR, which is bound to its co-crystallized ligand, which is a quinoxalin derivative known as ardafitinib. So this is the first uh, reported molecule uh, which is uh, which is inhib which inhibits this particular uh, kinase. So you can launch Hermes from your desktop. Uh, so this is a Hermes interface where you can find gold and CSD Python API and CSD cross minor. So these are various discovery tools uh, that can be launched from Hermes. So let us begin with how to import our uh, co-crystallized ligand from the PDB. How to do that? So you click on CSD Python API, import, then fetch from PDB. So the script starts working and it is going to ask you about a PDB code that you are interested in. So today's PDB code is 5EW8. And we are asking the Python API to import. And here we go. Now this particular crystal structure is a homodimer where you have two kinase molecules with two ligands bound. Now, we have to prepare this uh, particular crystal structure before we uh, lead to the gold docking calculation. On the left hand side, you see a molecule explorer window where you can see different chains that are present in the crystal structure. So this particular window gives you all the details about the contents in our crystal structure. Since we are interested in only one uh, chain, we are going to remove uh, one or the other chain by right clicking the mouse button and then deleting chain B. You see that the chain B has been deleted from here. We also don't uh, do not need the associated ligands. So again, right click uh, select right click and delete in this particular example we are not interested in water molecules since we didn't find any functional water molecules but these water molecules are water of crystallization and we are going to remove this for the sake of our simplicity yeah so we have removed all the ligands uh, from chain b chain b as well and what we have is our structure of interest here. See, we have chain A and the bound ligand. Now let us start setting up the gold docking calculation. So we can launch gold from Hermes by selecting gold. There are two options of setup and run a docking calculation and wizard. We are going to start with wizard. So this wizard, Gold Setup Wizard helps you in setting up the calculations uh, in an easy way. Once you launch the wizard, it has two options. Either you can load protein if it is saved in your device, or you can select the protein that is on the interface. Since we have imported the protein, we have prepared it. We are going to use this one. The next step is to prepare the protein itself. There might be some missing hydrogens uh, during the process of solvation of this crystal structure. So we are going to add any of the missing hydrogen from the structure. And it has added 2347 hydrogens. OK. We may also check for any problem with the tautomers, for example, uh, in case of glutamine or aspargine or histidine. In this case, we didn't find any, so we are going to skip this, but it is possible to select and flip if you wish to see that, okay, the orientation is correct or not. So this is also a possible here in preparation of the protein. The next one is extract or delete any water molecule that you wish to retain or remove. Since we have removed the water molecules in our earlier step, we are going to skip this stage. Next one is extracting your ligand molecule that is already present in the co-crystal. So this is the ligand molecule. 
these are two sulfate ions uh, we won't touch them they are not affecting any of our process so we are going to select the ligand molecule 5sf803 and say extract now we can save this particular uh, ligand molecule in our uh, in our working directory so we are going to save it as a mol2 uh, ligand minus ligand and it will be saved in the working directory right now let us move to the next step where we have to define the binding site in our uh, receptor there are four different options available in gold for defining the binding site first option is you can select protein atoms uh, from the interface and define the binding site the second one is you can provide uh, um, xyz coordinate from uh, the pdb uh, pdb file and you can mention here another option is the third option is to uh, suggest a reference ligand in our case we have a reference ligand bound in the active site or the binding site so we are going to select this ligand for this case in case if you don't have all uh, any of the above three options available uh, with you you can list out the atoms that you wish to uh, see the interaction with so let us go with our most favorite one that is we have a ligand bound to the receptor so this one is selected now next step is to uh, see any configuration template that we wish to use gold provides with several uh, configuration templates that can be used for virtual screening now we are not going with the virtual screening today we are going to look into one uh, ligand molecule uh, so we can skip this step now select ligand wizard step 5 is to select the ligand this is a crucial step where you have to add a ligand molecule for docking uh, purpose now this ligand molecule can be in sdf format mol or mol2 format single ligand or multiple ligands can be added here so we are going to add from here 5sf idealized ligand we are going to open it here so you see that the ligand file is uploaded we also we can also provide reference ligand so can we can uh, so we can calculate the rmsd after the docking calculation so we are going to select the ligand.mol file that we saved in our uh, second step in the protein preparation step yeah here we go that we have now the ligand to be docked and a reference ligand so let us go to the next step a fitness function or a scoring function that we wish to use today so as earlier mentioned we have four scoring functions available with code but we also have the possibility of defining a user uh, specific uh, scoring function now this has to be from the user side or you can outsource it from any other but can be used in gold engine uh, the default one is chemplp so we are going to go with uh, chemplp The wizard step seven is genetic algorithm uh, search option. So if we click on more, we see that we have several options for performing the docking exercise. You may select library screening. If you have large volume of uh, ligands, you may perform virtual screening. You can have the default of search efficiency and uh, the speed or very flexible. That means maximum amount of iterations in gold we are going to go with the default since we have only one ligand so the next step comes with so here we finish with the uh, basic gold configuration setup at this particular point we will not run gold but we will go and see or explore what are the various advanced options available with gold once you click the advanced uh, option, the global options on the left hand side tab will show all the other possibilities in gold. So here, um, so we have protein, we have defined the binding site, we have selected the ligand. The configurative water uh, function helps you in selecting any water of choice or any functional water in here. Ligand flexibility, you can perform rigid docking using this option of fixed ligand rotatable bonds, but we are interested in 
flexible docking today. So we are going to select all the options of ring confirmations. Fitness, uh, we have selected CAM PLP. Here we also provide option of rescoring. Now this is a, something that you would like to do if you want to generate a consensus with our docking exercise. You can select any of the two different uh, combination from the available scoring function or your own user defined scoring function. We will not use this today. So we are going to go with the CAM PLP only. We also can select do not allow early termination since we want Google to perform all the 10 steps that we selected in our GA settings. So here we have seen the GA settings. The output options. Now what are the output options? We have three different tabs, file format option, information in the file and selecting the solutions. So this is the place where you can ask uh, for creating a folder or a subdirectory into your main working directory for storing the results. We can create using new folder, a results folder, a subdirectory, which will be selected for storing the results. Now in the, what are the uh, possibilities with these two tabs? So let us see. In information uh, in file tab, you can select what you want to save from your calculation, fitness score, weighing terms, unweighing terms, and so on. In selecting solutions, this is the option <clears throat> where you uh, decide if you want to keep all the solutions or if you want to keep the only top three best solutions for the ligand, or you want to uh, keep top uh, top ranked solution from your uh, set of ligands. If you have multiple ligands, you can mention 10, 100,000 as you wish. So let us keep all the solutions since we have only one ligand. And now we have uh, set up all the steps in here and we are ready to run code. Once we click run code button at the bottom, it asks us to where do we wish to save the gold.conf or this configuration file. So the gold configuration file is a text file which collects all the data that we have opted for during this particular setup. So we are going to save this uh, file in our working folder. The sorry, the results folder that we created. So we are going to select this one. And we save. Once you click the save button, it has launched the calculation. Uh, so it says a starting gold run and uh, the docking is uh, docking has started here. Yeah. So we have finished uh, this docking calculation and we are going to see the uh, solutions. Once the finished gold run message pops up, the view solution button is uh, available to click. We click this button and we safely close these setup. Now, as you see, in the left hand side, we have a new tab in Molecule Explorer, which mentions that the docking solutions are available for our analysis. So as earlier mentioned that once the docking calculation is completed, we are going to see a qualitative and quantitative way to analyze our docking results, right? So this Molecule Explorer can be expanded to see uh, what are the different uh, values we are generating here. We have PLP fitness, that is our first column, and then we have PLP reference RMSD. This is the, so in case of PLP fitness, higher the score, better is the result. In case of RMSD, lower the RMSD, better is the docking result. So let us see one by one. Uh, we have a very nice function of only looking into the cavity and the ligand so that we can focus on only uh, the region which we are interested that is our ligand and its docking solution. You can use a shift and click a uh, mouse uh, button to select the molecule and you can change the style to capped stick. So you can see the reference ligand and our docked solution. We can see solution number two and then solution number three, four, and so on. 
in case of this fitness or the scores, you can sort them here by clicking on the definition. So this is the pose that is generated from our uh, docking calculation with highest uh, fitness score of 98.55. Let us see what is its RMSD. So we also have a difference in RMSD. So we have the best RMSD of 0 0.709, which can be again seen here or sorted out. And you see that the docking has completed and it's a really nice pose. We have a very nice overlay here. Now, what about the hydrogen bonds that are formed between this particular ligand and the uh, receptor amino acids or the amino acids in the binding site? We can show them or see or analyze them by selecting the contact management tab. We can select here and see that, okay, what are the various interactions or hydrogen bonds formed by the docked ligand? In the display uh, option, you can uh, explore or see that uh, what are the various features being displayed on the interface. You can also look for short contacts and so on. So, yeah, this is how you perform uh, docking in gold. This is an example for beginners.